who, who's, I don't like Zeus, he sucks. All right, the people that be, or the powers that be, will change. Zeus will be lovable and nice now. <laughs> the gods of Olympus will be, you know, a happy fucking family that loves everybody and didn't treat people like shit. Really? But when we come down to this stuff, everybody's like, wah, I don't like this, so we have to change it. Wah, I don't like this, so blah, 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 blah. It seems like that's the only time fans really get together to, to, to make some type of change. You know, I didn't understand how this happened. Read the book again. <laughs> it's a comic. If you didn't get it from the words, you could look at the pictures. Sometimes it's, it's that, or go on a fucking w wiki page where someone else explained it to you. Yeah. We have those things. It's just, there's no excuse for the, the, the way comics are. I mean, like, too much is taken with a grain of salt that shouldn't be. You know, you guys can buy Century actually existing in the Marvel Universe, and people argue that he's not a Superman wannabe. I'm like, are you fucking blind? And then you buy the whole a th power of a thousand fucking exploding suns. <laughs> you never let that go. I can't let it go. I know. That's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. I, I agree, it is Grown dumb. men and women that, that repeat the line and they believe it. The power of a thousand... How the fuck did you come to that conclusion? And why is it you can't let your brain... You know, let it swirl around in your brain for a few minutes and think about that for a second. Really? Superman doesn't even say he has the power of a thousand exploding anything. And he's fucking powerful as fuck. Why is it? That was a lot of fucking one second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But it's just there's there, just, there, there should be a level of logic that we have to use when we read this stuff and be like, yeah, that was dumb. They should have just, they should have found out they not what the it. equivalent of a fucking supernova would be and then say... Like this is the number. But look, and this is how powerful he is. Like this is kind of like how they thing. say this is how many tons of so and so can live. But this is the lame it, thing, right? In comics, when Superman used to say up, up and away, comic book readers said that was corny as fuck, right? Yeah, they did. When, yes, that's why I he just, doesn't say it anymore. So now they have a new guy who's straight up <laughs> ripping off Superman, and he says. He tells people he has the power of a thousand exploding suns. And people are like, oh my god, it's amazing. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? Darkwing Duck. I remember people making jokes about Darkwing Duck because the, the reason why he would always say the, the whole I am the terror that flaps, flaps in the, in the night, night and all that shit is because back in the day, superheroes used to always have these catchphrases yeah. and shit. And it was corny. But then that motherfucker says something, everybody's like, oh god, oh god, it's so awesome. And then on top of that, he's not even that... There's a guy more powerful than him who didn't say all that shit. And well, hell, they don't the have Marvel, him say anything because him, he's not he's not even he, there anymore. Yeah, <laughs> but he's beaten the Sentry, and all you motherfuckers don't know about him, or you ex you 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 choose not to mention him or acknowledge him, just like Marvel chooses yeah. not to acknowledge him. So it's like you know, do your research, read the books, actually read the books, understand what's going on, then talk. That way, when you make your decisions and you make your your, your guesses or your, you start your debates we have something to stand on because with the way it stands I don't know what, what fans they listen to but it's like as a whole our us as fans we're kind of fucked because we're not on the same page yeah like I see I see a lot of fans that kind of see things the way I do like at least when I'm reading stuff about the things that I didn't like about the new 52 mm -hmm. um but it seems like those seems like DC just isn't listening to any of those people because it's easier and, to and listen to think, the ones that like it. And I don't think they know what they're doing because people have pointed out errors that they've made in their comics. Like I guess now um, Tim Drake isn't a Robin. Like he never was a Robin. He went straight to being Red Robin after he was Bruce Wayne's apprentice or whatever. That's what they're saying now. But when they first when they originally wrote the books. They said he was a Robin, <laughs> but if you buy the trade, that they edited the trades or whatever, Ugh. so that it fits with their whatever the continuity is they're trying to establish. Is this in that um, Earth Two stuff? No, or? this is in the, this is the New Fifty Two continuity. New 50. Wow, yeah, they're fucking completely fucking up. Like they don't know what the fuck they're doing, and. Their editors, I guess, aren't catching this stuff or whatever. The editors don't do anything. I wish I could be an editor so I could sleep <laughs> all day long. I could play video games and freaking watch porn 
and freaking, you know, call my wife and, and set up dates <laughs> to do things and not do my fucking job. Because editors in comics, for whatever reason, and, you know, I'm not trying to be completely mean, but it feels like there's things that happen in books that the editor should catch it and say, this doesn't make sense, or you shouldn't do... Like the shit with The Flash. The fastest man alive can steal other people's speed. He can do that now, too? Remember, you just read the post. No, no, no. Oh, Damn. Damn. Does that even I know, make sense? I knew, he, I knew they changed his power so he could think as fast as he moves. I don't know which what... Even I don't that even is know where retarded. That, no, that makes sense because if you move at a certain speed, your brain needs to move that yeah, fast Yeah, no, too. but... He's They're talking like, about making it where he's like a supercomputer and he's crushing Yeah, and he's, cr- and he's, he's working out scenarios in his but, head and everything. But stealing your speed. fucking speed. Why would the fastest man alive need to take, need to take anything else's speed? That what doesn't could make be faster sense. than him? No, if, if he's this... Ugh. And no editor said, dude, that's kind of stupid. Really? For fans, did, did fans even say that was No, dumb? fans just take it because that way when they argue the point when Superman... If Superman fights Flash, who would win? Flash would automatically win because he can steal Superman's speed. But what if he gets hit by Superman? Yeah, he can't hit... I mean, and he can't Superman, hit I mean, as even hard it, as Superman. Yeah, so it's not going to do any good either. It's just going to be a stalemate. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty... That's really, really dumb. And no one really, says really anything. Dumb. And these editors, this is their job. You should catch that shit as long... You also should catch errors. Actual grammatical errors and shit. And continuity errors, but you should also be able to say that power makes no sense, or that ability is kind of stupid. That's overkill. Get rid of it. That's dumb. Damn, I didn't know that. That's really but they terrible. don't do it, and fans keep eating the shit up when you should say, no, that doesn't make sense. So I don't know. We we really need to get some shit straight. People need to work a little bit harder to get things um, to get on the same page. And there needs to be some kind of logic that's used when, you know, when, when these decisions are made. Because I'm pretty sure that the, the writers uh, and the various creators, they see this stuff. That's why they give you this kind of stuff. Because they, they kind of, it feels like they want to see what they can get away with. Like, you know, when, when Grant Morrison is doing all the weird shit he did with Batman, he's, as he was seeing how the fans were just eating it up, he started getting weirder. And weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. And it was no longer a Batman story. It was Grant Morrison's fucked up version of Batman. His drug-induced, you know, version of Batman. You know? Because he had to be tripping balls when he came up with some of the shit that he came up with. Because it doesn't even fit with the tone and the... the, 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 the You're talking about the origin? origin. Origin-wise, I'm not even New 52. I'm just talking about Rest in Peace. That's uh, the main thing that I can't forget. That and Batman Inc., I can't forgive him for that shit. It's just is too out there. It's too, like, it seemed more like a Tony Stark move than a Batman move, than a Bruce Wayne move. You know what I mean? Like, the whole Tron episode. Did you see that? Oh, with, uh, when it, wasn't, the it was actually online? Yeah, yeah. I Come did. on now. Shit like that. Like, let's capitalize off of, you know, pop culture with a pop culture character. <laughs> Doing another pop culture character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, man, we we've talked for an hour uh, and and we've pointed out some shit. I mean, I guess some of it will make sense to you guys, and some of it won't. Some of it you might listen to, some of it you might not. Man, I would love to steal the fucking Hodge twins. Um, their <laughs> disclaimer, <laughs> like it's just advice. <laughs> but you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but for real, you, it's it's up to you guys. I'm, I'm we're throwing this information out there because. It does really suck, man. We It feels like when you look at this stuff objectively, it feels like watching kids play. And yeah, we're big kids, but like this is there's a business aspect to this and there's a portion of this where you're getting taken for a ride. And like if if people, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to only buy other people's comics. I'm trying to have my shit out there as well. And if people are going to treat it like this, it's not going to get the respect it deserves. Comics, you can tell comic book movies are going to burn out at some point because they're doing it too much. Now it's a genre of film. I remember, what, 10 years ago, it was not a genre of film. It was just a drama. Or nobody or thought it would movie. be viable or marketable mm-hmm. as a film. And now, the superhero films are a genre, mm-hmm. just like spaghetti westerns and shit like that and kung fu movies. And 
like some of them are even blockbusters like Avengers. What is that, the first superhero blockbuster? The first real superhero blockbuster? Because the Dark Knight trilogy does not count because there's no superheroes in it. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, he's a guy in a costume, but there's no superheroes. There's a vigilante in a costume. I'm being real. <laughs> So yeah, it's 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 viable now. It makes sense. It's like serious now. We gotta step it up and stop being like little babies and little kids, you know, clamoring after our favorite hero, fighting over which one we think is better. We need to actually, you know, have some type of focus to this shit. Be a fan, but also be aware of all the shit that's going on and stop attacking other fans <laughs> over bullshit. Like Yeah, we seriously need to stop having those who would beat who arguments. Yeah, because yeah. It's never Technically, gonna... those characters shouldn't be fighting anyway because they're all on the same side. And no one's ever going to kill anyone because they all make too much money. Yeah. You know, especially when it comes to, like, Batman or Wolverine. Really? Nah, because... Yeah, I don't even want to get started. <laughs> it just we need, to, we need to cut that shit out. You know, it gets tired. We need to, like, let's have and real you, conversation. You're never going to get a decisive uh, decision out of anybody... Get I don't care me. how many. I don't care how many. You get it for me. I'll give you. Well, a no, no. I'm, I'm talking about like as to who would win. You know, yeah. because people like I've been on Comic Vine and I've read some of these you know versus threads, uh -huh. and everybody's throwing out different factoids here and there, and all they're really doing is pointing out how the uh, one instance the, or or just the incontinuity of a lot of these characters' mythology is as far as like things that they've been able to do or things that they've done yeah. in certain stories. So there's no way you can come to this person will win because of this or that person will win because they have that power because they've all done shit that... You could if you do what I was saying in the beginning. The smart way of coming to these conclusions is just like boxing. People say, would Muhammad Ali in his prime be able to beat Tyson in his prime. They didn't say would Muhammad Ali in general with Parkinson's be able to beat <laughs> Mike Tyson the way he is now. People don't do that with comics. Instead, they just say everything is in continuity. Everything counts. When we're going to talk about a fight between two characters, instead of taking them from a period, they're just going to slam every piece of information all together at once, and that's bullshit. Because none of these characters exist with all that shit on them anymore. Mm -hmm. Every every incarnation, they lose shit, and then they add new shit, or they they just keep adding. Like Wolverine, they keep adding shit to him, because he was a clean slate for a long time, because he didn't even know where the fuck he came from. Yeah. Nowadays, he they can say whatever the fuck they want to say about Wolverine, and he can. It's valid because he didn't know, and and it, what makes it even more fucked up is that he figured it out. But there's still writers who've done all kinds of shit with that. You know, he's been mind wiped so many times. Who knows what he just came up with? Really? He just said he knows everything. Like, I read the, the whole series where this shit happened. Like, but it doesn't count when fanboys get a hold of it because instead of actually using logic, they just want to say anything they can say to make their favorite character come out on top. But how do you use logic when even the writers aren't using logic? Like, that's where like we I have to say, yeah. this is bullshit. This is shenanigans. You call shenanigans on his ass. Say this shit is, this is whack. This is too much. There's a point where you've just, you can't just shit on continuity all the time. There's some stories where it's fine. No one cares. Big deal. But like, if we've been reading a character for 20 years, and in 20 years, he's had like three major changes, and then a new writer comes around year 20, and Nix is all that shit, someone has to be like, dude, like, really? Seems like they do that to Straczynski every time he writes Spider Man. Exactly. Spider he'll make Spider Man better and then they're like, No, he needs to still be weak and stupid and younger and younger and younger. Cause I swear he's gone back well, he's regressed since Straczynski wrote the um what you call it, his Spider Man stories up to the whole brand new day. Brand, brand new day. Yeah. It it's just it's it's dumb. And I understand they need to sell books. But this was why I pointed out earlier that back in the day they had like eight bat books or ten bat books or something like that. You have the ones that were just sto one-off stories that it's a one-shot, it's done, it doesn't have anything to do with the continuity. It's a, It could happen. Um, you had stories that several that were in continuity. And then you had others that were like a what if or something. You know what I'm saying? Like Or something from uh, the, the Silver Age where they're just showing you this is what Batman used to be like. Here's a story that fits in that continuity. You know what I mean? Like, 
we could still do that shit. And then that way all the stories could be out there. Marvel would make its money. DC would make its money. We'd be happy. Fans would be happy. Just like, like I said, Batman in animation. You have the animated series where you get the old school kind of Silver Age Batman. You've got Brave and the Bold where you get Golden Age Batman where he's all goofy and shit. Well, he's not really goofy, but he's surrounded by all the goofball weird shit. But he's still doing Batman type stuff with a little bit more flamboyance. Then you have all the animated films that take him from different time periods, just like the ten different books that I mentioned. I don't know why they don't go back to that. Yeah. Everyone would be happy. New 52 should have been a line of books, and all the old shit should have stayed where it was. DC would have made more money. Instead, everybody's trying to act like they're so poor, they need so much money, that they have to cut and cut and cut and cut and cut, and in the process, we get shit. And since the fans don't ever say anything... They can't really react to it because no one told them that anything's wrong. So this is why we keep getting what we keep getting, you know? And we can only have these kind of conversations so many times before it's just like, eh, fuck it. I stopped buying comics, to be honest with you. I've literally stopped. Me too. I don't buy comics anymore. I read them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't buy them anymore. And it's because of shit like that. I hope, the com sometimes I hope that the big two go belly up. You know, when I heard Marvel was bankrupt a couple years back, I was like, please, maybe now they'll they'll switch things around and fix all the weird shit they've been doing lately, you know? Put put the heroes back in their fucking costumes, mm -hmm. you know? But, you know, I... And they did, but then they, they went and did other weird shit. Uh-huh. Weird shit that just felt out of character for the company. DC's the same way. Remember when, um... What was it Infinite Crisis? I, I wasn't feeling all that shit. And it, was, it wasn't it was horrible. It just wasn't really that great. It didn't feel like a genuine issue. Like, it didn't feel like something worth getting excited for. I couldn't see, you know, like, Batman was dead in that book, but then he was alive in all the other books. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I remember, I almost... Excuse you're me, talking almost, about the tripping through time Batman, or he was just yes, alive? The, there was, a, there was a scene at the end of Infinite Crisis. I mean, they later on, they told you, coincidentally, the same time Captain America was going through the same shit, that he got sent through time and all that shit. But yeah, on the, I don't, on the cover, Superman is holding Batman's dead carcass with the skin, everything in the costume, completely charred. And then they tell you, oh yeah, no, he's, no, uh-uh, he's not dead, he's, he's surfing through time. Are you fucking kidding me? Shit like that is why I yeah, stopped Yeah, I mean, none of comics. that, the time bullet thing, the, well, none of that here. stuff make, I don't know why. It, like, what were they, co they collaborating between the two? Like, yeah, it'll be cool. Well, let's send yeah, both of these Yeah, they were collaborating with that peyote. <laughs> <laughs> they were sitting in a room together smoking that <laughs> shit. <laughs> sweating, yeah, man. Because that was some trippy bullshit that just, it just fucked up Yeah, that's up too everything. weird to be a coincidence. It's no, too specific. I mean, we know that Marvel and DC... They do stuff. They piggyback off each yeah, other. They yeah, they do stuff like, you know, working together. But it's just, it's one of those things, man. Shit like that pissed me off because it, you could clearly see it was a stunt. And then it just became really stupid. Like, when you're seeing all these Waynes from back in the day and all the Waynes happen to be prominent people. Why can't it just be that Bruce Wayne happened to be the prominent? They could have been rich all through a good portion of the family lineage. But why couldn't Bruce Wayne just be the heroic Wayne? Why did there have to be some ancestor somewhere that was super awesome just like him or that awesomely would make, deranged. That would make yeah. Bruce Wayne like, he should, like, by this time he should be part of like the Illuminati or something. Because <laughs> he knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you know, we we just gotta, we gotta work harder and be a little bit more discriminatory and I've said this before and, you know, I doubt people are listening. <laughs> I, I know people are listening but I doubt people are actually like taking this to heart and actually like putting it to use when they go to the comic book store. There's a lot of shit out there, and a lot of it is shit. There's a lot of stuff that, like, you know, people, I'm not saying they didn't put, like, you know, any time and effort into it, but more effort and time could have been put into some of this stuff, especially the thought process before ever it put anything gets put to paper. And it seems like that's not what's going on, especially at the big two. It just, it feels like, Every gimmick in the world is being thrown at you, but if we go back 10 or 15 years and read the blockbusters or the crossovers from that time period, you'd be like, wow, this actually felt like a um, real crossover. Mm -hmm. Fucking, like it I felt said. felt like an actual event. Yeah. Like the Infinity Saga. 
Go back and read that shit and you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, it wasn't as good, but it was still pretty, it was, it was good. Death Mate from Image, where it was like a company-wide crossover. Shit wasn't that bad. Because they had two ridiculously powerful characters that should never have met, meeting, and then all hell was breaking loose because of it. You should check it out. It was actually okay. I mean, it, it's it's from that evil period that everybody doesn't want to acknowledge. The '90s, <laughs> where the majority of all the shit that you read now. I know. Kind fuck of you guys. From, the '90s were awesome. Yeah, I know, right? Fuck all of y'all. All of you, you fucking Deadpool fans. You love Deadpool. Guess where he came from? The, the fucking 90s. '90s. He still looks like he came from the '90s. So you know, I don't know what to tell all these elitist hipster comic book readers that just want to diss something with their style that came from the fucking 90s but apparently comics couldn't have been good back then they were venom guess where he came from 90s venom was one of those characters who came into like he, he actually came into his own in the 90s shit i'm pretty sure he popped up during like what late 80s early 90s mm -hmm. so yeah get the fuck out of here with that shit <laughs> so you know you can listen to us. You don't have to listen to us. Whatever. This this is just food for thought. Next time you end up in the comic book store and you're looking at the mounds and mounds of new shit that's hit, that's on the wall, think about it. You know, when you read one of those weird lines where, you know, Grant Morrison is trying to tell you that, I don't know, Professor X is actually God. <laughs> you can say, fuck you, Grant Morrison, and put the book down and go buy something else. You know what I'm saying? Like... You don't have to buy it just because everybody says Graham Morrison is so awesome. You really don't have to buy into that shit. Yeah. I admit he has some good ideas here and there, but then somewhere along the line he like he drops full he of himself. Completely drops the ball. Like I like I liked All Star Superman up until the end. The end, yes, that like, was whack. How do you fly into what was actually killing you in the first place? <laughs> and survive. And survive. <laughs> and you're just stuck in there. I swear that whole that whole ending portion is some sun worship bullshit because everybody's all looking up at the sun like <laughs> like you know like 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 it's God up there and waiting for him waiting for his return like God. Superman's always been that kind of character though. But a Christ like character. Yeah, but but I mean you have like throughout the book, you know, they're talking about the legacy that he's gonna be leaving behind. They're like, We need a Superman and that's what that one scientist was working on up on the moon or whatever. Yeah. So at the end of the book just like when you had the death of Superman, why weren't there people that came that wrote, that wanted to rise up and continue that legacy and uphold the same values and ideology dudes, that he was only tripping for so long <laughs> when he wrote that story? I'm telling you, he, he obviously writes when he's high, and he was only high when he got to till he got to that point, and then when he came down. He was just like, I'm done. I don't want to fucking go back to this story anymore. <laughs> and that was it. So you got, we got what we got. And people need to stop, you know, licking his ball sack and just leave him alone. Let him, let him revel in his, what his self-proclaimed awesomeness. You know what I mean? Let him, people can, yeah, you have that. It's there. Cool. Yeah, after I read that, I was like, I'm done with this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, man, like let them have it it's cool they can have it they a lot of people i, I feel like the the, the right the writers that actually try so they get shat on the writers who completely take the industry for a ride they keep coming up i mean i love mark miller but mark miller's wrote, wrote written some bad stuff you know fucking what was that one called uh nemesis i think it was with the guy the idea was what if batman and the joker were the same guy and he wore like a white suit and he had like on the cover he was drawing a smile on his face with blood it was really lame really fucking lame i'm sorry i like miller and i still hated that book him there was nobody to like the the the, the counter to his character was always a cop who he would kill why did they have another hero to be the counter to this hero who's a combination of a hero and a villain from dc's universe come on miller for real, stop tripping balls and writing shit. It just feels like they get high, they write something, and then they don't worry about the end of it. And I know people are gonna get mad that I said that, but that's what it feels like. And I went to school with people like this, so it doesn't really surprise me. I know this is how it works. There's actors who do this too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever. If they wanna bring that mentality to comics, fine. I'm not buying that shit. I can see right through it, so I don't know. But, you know, 
like 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 we're saying, the point is though to be a little bit more discriminatory about your your books and what you buy. Like not physically buy with money what you take in, what you believe as far as what works in, in comics and stuff, you know? Force the writers to do a little bit more than what they've been doing, you know? Don't just listen to the bullshit that people give you as an excuse for why things are the way they are. Because most of the time, that's not the reason why things are the way they are. It's a story. It's just something to shut you up for the meantime, you know? So anyway, we, we've ran our mouths long enough. <laughs> oh, this is probably the longest video I think I've ever done. Um, Till next time. Peace. Peace.